Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how to make this kind of image hotspot using Elementor Pro. Adding this type of interactive UX attracts your visitors and increases the chance of your conversion. And here the great thing is, you can make this effect by using the existing feature of Elementor. You don't need to have any extra plugins. So before starting, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for getting more tips and tricks like this. So here on this page, on the left column, first of all, we need to insert an image. So let's drag this image here and choose an image. Okay, then to add our hotspot on this image, we will use the flipbox widget and then position that above this image. So let's first add our flipbox widget. Here this flipbox widget is available in Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get this on my description. So let's drag this here. And here you can see this free box widget has two sides. This is the front side and when you hover on this, this is the back side of the flip box. So let's first customize our front side. Here we don't need this heading and this description. So let's remove the heading from here and also this description. And we will only keep this icon here. And you can change this star icon from here. If we want to choose this one, we can select this. Or you can also use a custom image from here. Okay. So here on this front side, we don't want any background color. We only want to keep this icon. So let's go to this background option and choose the background color to fully transparent. Then let's go to this back option. And from here, I want to change this heading. Here, I want to position this flip box above this mirror. So I want to change its text to round mirror. And let's include its price inside this description field. And here, I want to make this a buy now button. So let's change its text. And you can put the link of your product in this field. So after that, let's go to settings and set a height for this widget. Let's make it to 220 pixel. And from here, you can change the effect for the flip box. You can make it to slide. Okay. Or make it to zoom in. But I want to make it to the default flip option. And from here, you can also change the direction of the flip. So if we make it to left, you can see this flip direction now changed to left. Okay, then let's go to style tab. And from here, you can change the design of this icon. But here, instead of icon, I want to add an animating icon. So let's do some custom CSS here. Go to advanced and go to custom CSS. And here, put this CSS code. So you can see this animating icon instead of this default icon. And if you want, you can also change its color from here. So if we want to make it to green or red, or you can also change the size of this icon. If we want to make it too large, like 150 pixel, it looked like that, but let's make it to default. So after adding this animating icon, let's go to style and go to this back option. From here, we can style our backside of the flip box. So first of all, let's design this title here. Under title, go to typography and make the font to this and font size to 20 pixel and also change the font weight. And for the description, let's change its color to fully black and also change the typography to the Poppins font and here let's adjust the spacing between this title and this description here so let's make it to 5 and then go to the button settings and first of all let's make its size to medium and change the typography to this Poppins font and also change the font size to 14 pixel and then let's go to this background color option and change the background color and here lastly i want to change this blue background color so let's go to this content option and from here go to back and 
choose the background color from here I want to make it to fully white and right now I want to set a width for this so let's go to advanced and go to positioning from here choose the custom width and make its custom width to 220 pixel okay we have done our design and right now I want to position this above this mirror here so first of all make its position to absolute and from here you can change the horizontal and vertical offset of this flip box so we can adjust this from here so if we make it to 100 pixel that means 800 pixel far from this column right here but here we don't want to make it in pixel instead we want to make the percentage unit because this image size can be changed on different devices and if we set a pixel unit the position can be displaced from our desired position so that's why we will use the percentage unit here so let's adjust this okay right now you can see the top left corner of this flip box widget is above this mirror but here we don't want to put this corner above this mirror instead we want to put the middle of this icon above this mirror so for this we need to write down an another line of css so let's go to css and add an another line here okay right now you can see this icon is perfectly positioned so right now i want to add another two hotspot above this image so right click on here and duplicate this and let's drag this under here and let's also position this above this wardrobe so go to advance and go to position and adjust its offset and for this we will also change the text here so let's go to content and go to back and here i want to change it to wardrobe and also change the price here and let's do the same for another one so let's duplicate this okay we have put all of our three hotspots on this image now let's update this and let's see the preview okay that looks really cool now let's see what it look like on tablet and mobile devices so let's go to hotspot and preview our page on the tablet device okay here you can see our flip box widget has displaced from its position this is happened because these flip box widgets are positioned relative to this column not relative to this image and here if we notice it on the desktop here we can see this image and this column has the exact same ratio but if we see it from tablet we can see this column is much longer than this image so here we also need to make the ratio of this image and this column exactly same so for this first of all let's go to this column settings and make it width to 100% and also for the second column we also make it 100% and here you can see this image and this column still doesn't have the same ratio so if we decrease the width for this column so here we can see for this image if we make the columns width to 89% or smaller than that this image and this hotspot are perfectly adjusted so right now let's make it width to 60 percent but here you can see this image is aligned to the left for fixing this let's go to the advanced settings for this column and let's write down one line of css to make it centered okay we will keep its margin auto to make it center and don't worry i will also give all the code snippet on my description you can get this from here okay lastly we will check this on mobile devices so let's go to mobile mode and here we can see everything works fine but for this one it goes outside of our screen so let's go to its position settings and change the offset and also change the vertical offset here okay everything looks good but here we can see something looks weird here so for this one we need to increase the z index so go to its settings 
and go to advanced and make a higher z index for this one let's make it 2 okay now this problem has fixed so right now if we see it from our desktop devices it looks nice and if we see it from tablet okay that looks also good and also from mobile okay this works really well so that's how you can create this kind of effect by using elementor if you learn something new from this tutorial then subscribe to this channel to inspire me to make more videos like this thanks for today i'll see you on my next